Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video review of the, the Shit Magni 3 Plus and the Loki Mini Plus. Um, this is my bedside listening rig, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. The headphones are Sennheiser HD58X Jubilee. Um, this is a really a nice design on the uh, Magni 3 Plus. They've gone to like a more crinkle type finish. Um, which I like because the, the knob is a little easier to grab. It's not as slippery as this older style on the Loki Mini Plus. I like this smoother aluminum, but these the super smooth uh, knobs have these like concentric rings around them. Not really very easy to grab. Um, <clears throat> but uh, something that a lot of people don't do is they buy the headphone amp, but they don't buy an EQ. And that makes it so that if you want a different sound, you have to have different headphones. And that's a very expensive way to go. So even though the EQ was not cheap, it was 150 bucks, it's a lot cheaper than having a whole army of headphones to get the sound that you want. So uh, I'm pretty happy with this rig. Obviously, I thought the right angle RCA cables would be a good idea. But unless the components are the exact right distance away, that doesn't work out very well. So I'm going to be swapping them to regular straight ones. Let's find some nice short ones. Uh, as an aside, this is a great CD player. It's a 90s vintage Sony CDP XE400. Um, it's programmable. It's got the jog dial here instead of buttons for uh, AMS, which is nice. And the the search buttons are very fast reacting too. I like it. Um, it's got repeat modes. It's programmable, like I said. You can have the repeat. Uh, you can have it um, repeat the program. You can do a peak search so that you can match the um, the peaks if you're making a mixtape or mix CD. Uh, right, great little CD player. And then on the other end of my bedroom, I have a a Bose Wave Music System Four as a, as the clock radio and also just as a, a system to actually my wife and I can both listen to at the same time once in a while. Um, as for the Magni, uh, it's, they improved the ventilation on this 3 Plus generation. Um, it's got vents on the side now. I don't know what good they would do because there's no forced air. And then they made the vents bigger on the top. And it runs just barely. You can just barely feel it get warm. The Loki Mini Plus is actually runs a lot warmer. Um, it's not what you would call hot or anything that you would worry about, but... Um, that is, in my opinion, this is due for an update like the Magni 3 Plus got, where uh, the texture all over is a little bit rougher, which gives more traction to the knob. Um, I actually like the smooth finish better on the case, but the rougher finish better on the knobs, but I understand why they made it uh, consistent to match. And the Magni 3 Plus, we've got our gain switch here. It's got negative gain on the bottom, um, medium gain, which I keep it on for these headphones. Uh, they're 150 ohm. I think they're 90 dB sensitivity. And then for the real uh, high resistance headphones, high impedance headphones, you would go to high gain. Um, and then we've got a four, four channel EQ here. And this switch is, when it's up, the EQ is engaged. And when it's down, if you got a recording, you really like the way they did it to begin with, you just flip it down and it bypasses. Uh, taking a quick look at the back here. Just what you'd expect on the uh, Magni 3 Plus amplifier. We got the RCA ins, RCA outs, and a power. And the power switch they shortened. You can see compared to the to the longer one on the Loki. Loki is the same thing. RCA ins. I have them coming from my back of my CD deck. RCA out going to the amplifier, and then headphone out on the front, unbalanced only. Uh, one thing also worth noting on these is the wall warts are enormous. They're about the size of a woman's fist, and they're heavy because they have a linear transformer in them. They're not a switching power supply. Uh, that's, you know, they, they get a lot of power from them, and it's clean power, which is why they sound so good. But you're going to overwhelm uh, whatever you have down there. They do make power strips that have spacing for wall warts like this. But... Uh, I just have the CD player and the, the two wall warts on an end of a typical extension cord, and it's working fine.
Anyway, this is a really nice rig for not a lot of money. This was about 100 or 110 bucks, and this was 150 bucks. The CD player I've already had for the last 30 years. Um, I don't think there's really much to the whole um, DAC thing. Uh, I've always liked the way the CD player sounded. I could never really tell the difference between that, it or any other CD player, so spent the money on the on the amps and the headphones. Anyway, thanks for looking. Let me know about any questions below. And um, eh, just for the fun of it, I'll show you. Just got a stack of CDs at the local bookstore. This is Baroque Duets with a singer and a trumpeter. Vivaldi Four Seasons. I lost my original copy, so I was happy to find that. Mezzo-soprano opera singer. The Natalie Merchant album that I haven't heard. And then some mixed CDs. Let's see this. The second part of the Bach cello suites. Some more Baroque classical and Die Zauberfoot opera. I guess this is all, all classical. I got an NXS CD that I bought after finally 30, 35 years. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.